Hey everyone, welcome back to EC Coding. Today we are going to discuss about static polymorphism in Java. So this is our last concept in object oriented programming. So if you haven't subscribed my channel, please care to subscribe my channel for latest updates. So let us see what is the definition of static polymorphism. So a polymorphism that exhibited during compilation is called static polymorphism in Java. In static polymorphism, the behavior of a method is decided at compile time. So if the behavior of a method is decided at compile time, that is called static polymorphism. It is also called compile time polymorphism. So what happens in compile time polymorphism? A Java compiler binds method calls with a method definition or the method body during the compilation. So that is why it is called compile time polymorphism in Java. And uh, binding is performed at a compile time. So it is also known as early binding. So binding is happened at the time of compilation. So it is called as early binding. And the compile time polymorphism can be implemented by method overloading in Java. We have already discussed what is method overloading. If you do not know, we will go to the next point that is method overloading. So method overloading is a mechanism in which class has multiple methods having the same name but different signatures. It is one of the ways that Java implements polymorphism. So method overloading is an example of static polymorphism or compile time polymorphism. So the another examples of static polymorphism is constructor overloading. So we will go to one, one of the examples of static polymorphism. So in this example program, we have created a class which is called static polity. And in this class, we will create two methods which are having the same name. That is sum in the x in y and sum in the x in y in z. So the, what is the difference? There is two parameters and here it is three parameters both of these methods have the same name but different signatures so here the sum method is overloaded two times because both the method signature vary number of parameters so the first method first sum method accept two parameters that is the second methods accept three parameters and when we call the first sum method using the reference variable let us see here we have created one reference variable obj and we are calling the method. So when we call the first sum method using the reference variable that is our obj. So by passing two type of I mean passing two parameters that is 20 and 10 both are in parameters. The Java compiler bind the definition of here you can see sum of int x comma int y method with the sum of 20 comma 10 that is what happening uh, at the time of compilation. And it calls the appropriate method. Here it is obj, obj dot sum with 20 10 that is two parameter. So it will call the corresponding method with two parameters. Similarly, when we call second sum method by passing three in type argument, Java compiler bind the definition of sum in comma in y comma in z with the sum of 10 comma 20 comma 30 method during compilation and calls a method of the sum of three numbers. So the Java compiler matches the value passed to a method during compilation and bind the method called with a appropriate method definition. So that's why it's called compile time polymorphism or static polymorphism. So in this way, compile time polymorphism allows us to perform various operations by using multiple methods with the same name. So Java compiler differentiates multiple methods having the same name by their signatures. Here you can see the difference is uh, the number of parameters. So that's all about the static polymorphism or compile time polymorphism. In the next videos, we will see the most frequently asked Java programs and Selenium questions. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next videos.